Why would he leave his own country to come here? Free cable. Hello, I'm Bill Gates. You're going to see the future. I actually just came out here to have a cigarette, okay? Relax, show my thing. So, um, maybe another time. Yeah, but there may not be another time. Okay, I may never get to see you again. 1816, the gold standard. An economic unit of account based on a fixed quantity of gold was officially adopted, and the world reserve currency became the British pound sterling. In 1914, after World War I, nations attempted to revive the gold standard, but it collapsed during the Great Depression. Also in 1914, the Federal Reserve Bank, a private company, was born. After Britain was devastated by World War II, they were no longer a superpower. And so the global reserve currency needed to be reset. In 1944, at the Bretton Woods Conference, the U.S. dollar became the new global reserve currency. This established America as the dominant power in the world economy, giving America the sole ability to print dollars. The rest of the world would need to trade their own currency against the U.S. dollar in order to balance exchange rates, keeping the international economy vibrant and fluid. But by the 1960s, the United States had printed more USD than their gold reserves could cover. And by 1970, a growing American trade deficit was undermining the value of the dollar. On August 15, 1971, President Richard Nixon brought an end to the gold standard. Federal Reserve notes, a fiat currency backed by debt rather than gold, became the new standard. This is basically no different than an IOU. As one would expect, right after President Nixon gave his speech, inflation began to rise and America's biggest export became debt. The creation of the petrodollar gave the U.S. even more sway over world economies. And today, the international debt has become untenable. And many are saying another global currency reset is needed. Historically, the gold standard has been the most stable economy we have known. But gold can be manipulated and disruptive as well. Some are suggesting that cryptocurrency could be the solution. Crypto is run by an algorithm and can be designed to meet specific needs. The global currency needs to have fluid supply, and the limited gold supply failed to keep up with economic growth. A sovereign free algorithm-based alternative could potentially be more stable. China is almost ready to launch their own cryptocurrency, DCEP, short for Digital Currency Electronic Payments. DCEP is government controlled and fully centralized. So far, it appears to be a digital version of fiat paper money. The Federal Reserve Bank is developing their own crypto called FedCoin. The coronavirus pandemic seems to be the perfect storm for a global currency reset. The amount of money printing involved in holding up failing economies as quarantines and shutdowns take place will be unprecedented. And all this does is weaken the U.S. dollar even more. And when the U.S. dollar falls, it will be replaced by something. The question is, which way will it go? I say I'm a teetotaler. Yeah, I'll never touch a stuff, boy. I saw that before 20. That's why I sleep, you stupid ass.